On a warm and sunny afternoon in the Bay State of Massachusetts, EA Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Here's a punter, Thomas Morstead, to get this one started. And we are underway in Foxborough. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Brissett going to go to the air right away. And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. That's sack courtesy of the effort of Hassan Reddick. A lot of talk the other day about them wanting to quiet this home crowd early and often. Very first play of the game, they do just that. You're exactly right about that because that's often a conversation when you go on the road and you travel. Hey, let's take the crowd out of it. What a great way of doing so by putting the quarterback on the deck. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. Partney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep, then curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really that's really a whole <laughs> cool. lot of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. and Let's see who's faster. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. Here's Brissett. They'll set up the screen for Gibson. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And as you're game planning as a staff, you go through all the different ways you can neutralize the other guys' pass rushers. Extra linemen, leave a tight end in, bring the running backs back in to block. Or you can do this, a little simple screen pass, and it works to perfection. From the shotgun, it's Brissett. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Osborne. That's good, the completion there for seven yards at its second down. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. In motion right is Osborne. And he'll get it here on the jet sweep. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. Well, I sure wouldn't be surprised if we see more of this as this game goes on because we know they like to use their wideouts either on quick throws or on jet sweeps like what we just saw there. And to say that that one worked well, partner, that's stating the obvious. So in jet territory now, here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. They'll run it. This is Ramondre Stevenson. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Here's Brissett. Over the middle complete. That's Douglas. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Well, safe to say the passing game has found a rhythm. He's now 4-4, four of four, but might need to be 5-5 five of five to keep this drive going here as they face a third down. And maybe perhaps you show a running play, right? Maybe a little play action here to go ahead and let him throw the ball downfield. I wouldn't get away from him flinging it because 4-4 four for four already, I think he's got a good chance of picking this one up here on third down. And that nearly intercepted. Boy, for a guy known for his hands defensively, that's a ball he probably thinks he should have come up with. But instead, it's fourth down. So on fourth down, here's Bryce Behringer on to punt for the Patriots. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. And now out come the Jets. Rodgers and the Jets now with a first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. Now Hall to start the drive. Oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle him. Into the 22-yard line. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Second and six. Now it's Rodgers. This completes a Corley. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. 
So five yards here, five on the play. And now one yard to go on third down. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you've got to run fast. Of course, you've got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness, there's a premium for all of that now. The Jets with the football here to start the second quarter. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll run with Hall. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave them with a fourth down. Strong start by this defense. Third and short, they go with a run. Stonewalled for no gain. I played for a guy who always talked about setting tones and meeting force with force. That felt like it on that play, didn't it? And they met it in a big way and won. What a great job by the defense. Now here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Brissett now. Short pass caught by Henry. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. He'll get this into the hands of Stevenson. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give him 15 yards on that one, and New England has a first down. And this is why trying to cover the angle route is so difficult. Anyone playing the linebacker position, when they see a running back out of the backfield widen because he heads towards the flat first, oftentimes you widen too much and overcommit. He cuts up inside, and that's what we saw there. A nice pickup for a first down. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that he can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And the defense on him quickly there as they stop him at the 40 for a gain of just two. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. Third and eight. To throw, Brissad. Throw right side, going to be taken in by Henry. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. To throw is Brissett. Setting up a screen for Stevenson. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. Open man is Osborne. He's got it. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 20-yard line. A good pickup there, a 22. 
What a drive. This has been just chewing up the yardage, and here's one of their best plays yet as they finally get down into the red zone and look to finish this off with six. Into the air once more. It's Brissett. He throws it on the move but can't connect as that falls incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Brissett sets to throw it. That to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. They haven't been able to stop them so far this series, but getting a nice little stand from their defense now. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Brissett. That is caught. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. A 20-yard touchdown. And the Patriots post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. The extra point by Sly is up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Jets going to take over now late in this first half. And with just under a minute to go, they might try to think about mounting a drive here if they can and get in the end zone. Could potentially tie this game up. to throw it's Rodgers got his man it's Williams and he's taken down but able to slip across the 35 the Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one so here's a first and 10 at the 38 Now Rodgers. And that's caught inside the 30. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. On play action, now Rodgers. That's going to be caught, and he's in. Touchdown, Jets. A great play there, 26 yards. And the Jets are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Patriots with the football here late in this first half. And they'll have a little bit of time to work with. 35 seconds until the break. 
35 seconds. All that remains in the first half as they come up on first down. From the gun, here's Brissett. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Jermaine Johnson credited with that sack. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Yeah, and that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's a really difficult task. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7, seven, seven, our score. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. And the Jets going to take over on offense to begin this third quarter. Well, the first half, very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles. So as we start the third quarter, curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. I'm with you on that one. And we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the peewee level. They love to spin it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand new shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. So give them five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that will bring up second down. Nothing flashy there. The slant to the slot. Oh, and the frustration for the defensive guys because it's a quick play. And you know it's going to be a bang-bang play in terms of the throw and the catch. And then he's able to absorb the contact and complete it. Flush to his right. What can't Aaron Rodgers do? The legwork there getting him the first. He's been patient this entire game, waiting for the perfect moment to surprise him with a quarterback keeper. There he catches him off guard and converts his first rush of the game into a first down. Gotta love that efficiency. Now Rodgers. Well, this is caught by Williams. Yeah, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 30-yard line. Play action. Now it's Rodgers. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Dietrich Wise running through and dropping him for the sack. Well, on that one, they, they go with the play fake CD, but I don't think anybody really was fooled. All eyes were fixated on the quarterback, and they got him to the ground. And to run this play successfully, you've got to make sure that everyone is doing their part. You actually have to sell this play. You've got to sell the run action. Otherwise, why do you stop at the running back? You just run straight for the quarterback and put him on the ground. So the completion results there in nine yards. And now third down and six to go. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And oh, that's going to wind up incomplete. Nearly their first pick of the game, but it does bring up fourth down. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. So Rodgers will depart and on is Greg Zerline for the Jets' field goal. On the right hash, it's a 43-yard attempt. Zerline's kick is up and through, and they take the lead here now at 10-7. Well, they don't get a touchdown here on the opening drive of the third quarter, but I think maybe you still say mission accomplished as they come away with the lead. No, absolutely. You keep the pressure on, right? You go downfield, get some points up on the board, and hope that you've motivated your defense to take the field and hold that lead. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So here are the Patriots now. They get ready for their first possession of half number two. 
And they find themselves down on the scoreboard following the field goal a moment ago. And I think even though they trail in the game now, I would consider that a win for their defense, and that's probably what they're telling the offense when they get to the bench. Hey, the onus is on you guys now. Get back out there and get us the lead back. Short pass caught by Henry. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Second and six, just inside the 30. Here's Gibson on the read option, and he'll scratch out a yard up to the 30, and that's all. The completion on first didn't get much, and now the run on second doesn't get a whole lot either. Well, if you're a good play caller, you've already looked ahead and anticipated this type of situation, already down in his play sheet, trying to dial up a big third down play. Off the play fake, here's Brissad. A good decision in the end. The pull it and run gets him nine yards in a first. Well, he and his offense were staring down what was likely a three and out. Zero fear from his side, though. Never doubt for a second they pick up the first. He's ready to pull the trigger on a keeper the moment it revealed itself. Out of the gun, Brissett. Pass caught here by Osborne. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Three quarters have come and gone. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Foxborough. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. They go play action with Brissett. He'll buy some time right. Maybe not exactly what they had in mind, but that scramble good for six and a first down. If they get a game-changing score on this drive, it's going to be because of plays like that. That run was pure heart. Took it himself, found a way to reset the downs, and advance the ball. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. Brissett out left and complete to Thornton and past the 35 he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30 give him 15 yards on that one and New England has a first down and here we are in the fourth quarter partner and watch him drive for what would be a go ahead touchdown and you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there not just for himself but to keep the rest of the team relaxed too Oh, no, he lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. Fortunate to get that football back. because trailing here in the second half. Last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. The fumble on first down. Now here's second down. Now Brissett. Throw left side complete. That's Douglas. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets 18. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there. And for the offense, they're hoping that that's something that they can jumpstart with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. They'll fake it on the jet sweep, and instead, a handoff up the middle. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Shotgun handoff to Gibson. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, 
made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. And now a tough spot here. This is third and ten. Brissett. Throw right side taken in by Gibson. And he's not quite going to get to the marker. It'll be a gain of eight on third and ten. It drives some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to tie things up in the final minute. Sly able to put this one through. And that will tie this game here in the final minute of play. So a big kick to get this back to even. Now the worry is, did you leave too much time on the clock? Because another field goal the other way, that does you in. You're exactly right. You didn't get into overtime yet. So now as a defense, you've got to think to yourself, you can't play prevent defense and just give up big chunks of yardage in front of you, but you also can't let anyone behind you. So you sit right on the line between the two, play the best defense you can, and not make it easy for them to move the ball downfield. Breaks through the contact. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Jets offense now works their way back onto the field. Well, partner, here it is. They've got the chance to win the game. You'd have to think they need to get it near the opposite 40 to have a chance to kick a game-winning field goal. We'll see what they can do. And you're right about that, because if we look at it in macro, that's what it looks like. But I think in micro, the head coach has already asked the special teams coach, what is he feeling? What does he think? Where does he want the football? What's the yard line we have to get? And he's already relayed that to his quarterback and his offense. They know what the goal is. Now the key, can they get there? The New York set to take the field. They need to get this around the 40 to have a chance to win it in regulation. From the 40, it's a 57-yard field goal, so that gives you a gauge. And all they're trying to do now is pick up yardage in good chunks and get out of bounds to stop the clock. If they end up running a play and get tackled in bounds, they're worried the clock may run out on them and finish the game. And they'll have to be careful how they handle this. Final minute, one timeout remaining. First and 10. Rodgers to throw. That's pulled in by Wilson. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds remaining. This is first and 10. On first and 10, it's Hall. At this stage, you've got to hustle. You've got to get back to the line of scrimmage because you're saving that time out to make sure you have a chance to get your kicker out there for the big shot. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. He made his only attempt earlier. This for the win. And now with four seconds left, we get a timeout call. So it'll all come down to the booming right leg of Greg Zerline. From the right hash, this for the win. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through, and they have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. Well, you really can't ask for much more than what we just had here. Not only a close game that went down to the wire, Charles, but a clean one, too. No turnovers in this contest. And I think you're exactly right about that. To me, this is just a pair of offenses trying to find the slightest bit of separation from each other. And they were both hoping that the other side would make the big mistake first. But today, neither side made that mistake. And what we got, a very entertaining game throughout. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. And with that, we say so long from Foxborough.